Hi guys! So today we're going to do a makeup transformation of someone with a very sassy ponytail inspired by Ariana Grande. If you don't know who Ariana Grande is, she is one of the most popular pop stars here in America. She used to be on Nickelodeon and now she sings across the world. She's well known for her singing style similar to Mariah Carey's and her half updo hairstyle. So today we're going to try to make ourselves into her even though my face shape is totally different from hers. I have a very round face shape and hers is very narrow and cute and slender. But let's see if we could do this. First of all, I'm going to put my hair up in a wig cap because I'm definitely going to put on a huge wig later. Make sure you bobby pin your wig cap down very, very well and sturdy because we're going to put one of the biggest wigs on ever in my life later. Now, I'm going to start with using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer as a base. Now, I'm just putting down some tissue paper so that I don't get any makeup on my outfit. And I am going to get one of my absolute favorite foundations. This is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is in the color Classic Tan. Now, if you're looking for the Celebrity Hollywood Fake Tan look, this foundation color is the absolute best. You not only want to get this foundation all over your face and your neck so that there won't be a tan line, but also on your ears. Because we're going to have side swept hair that might show our ears a little bit. And I'm going to use one of my most favorite makeup products for transformations, which is the Multitasking Creams from Poise. Using a semi-lighter tone to correct my under eye circles and highlight points of my face and my nose. You want to get the perfect color in the palette that's going to be great for concealing your under eyes. And then blend that all out with the Beauty Blender. The Baby Beauty Blenders are best for under eye circles. You might want to also layer on some highlight concealers on top of all of that. I know I really need to conceal my under eyes because I have dark skin tone on the under eye part and the outer corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to set all that concealer with the Kat Von D powder from her contouring kit with the same beauty blender that I used for my under eyes. This is going to make sure that you don't have any creasing on your under eyes. And then I am going to contour my face with an ashy toned contouring color. If you do not have a cream contour color, you could definitely set your entire makeup with powder first and then use a powder contour. But right now we're using creams and doing the side of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. Ariana Grande has a very different shaped nose than I do. It's very slender and a lot longer than mine, so I'm gonna try to mimic that with some extreme nose contouring. And I'm contouring the sides of my forehead and my cheekbones as well even more because her face shape is a lot more narrower than mine is and her forehead is a lot bigger. Basically, she looks like a literal Barbie porcelain doll, her face shape and everything. And then I'm gonna do a dot of her mole that she has. I don't know if it's permanent or just in some makeup looks, but I'm getting a gray tone. Not sure which side of the face that this mole goes on, but I hope I'm putting on the correct one. If not, sorry. And I'm gonna contour a little bit of a dimple on the side of her face. And then I'm getting a cheek cream stain. You could use a regular cheek color, but mine is from The Balm. Contouring her nose some more because her nose is so much more slender than mine is. When I do precise extreme nose contouring, I like to get a smaller paintbrush first and do very intricate straight down lines down my nose and then blend it out later with a beauty blender. And I'm definitely contouring my chin because her chin is a lot more square and shorter than mine is. Then I'm going to make sure to set all that makeup and powder down my entire face, neck, and everywhere I put down makeup and foundation on. Now it is time to do my eyebrows. I am getting the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil and reshaping my entire brow. She has a lot thicker eyebrows than I do. They're very much more natural and straight across and not as shaped as mine are. So I'm just trying to mimic that shape. You want to do strokes of eyebrow hairs when using this pencil to make it look more realistic. Like it's real hairs growing out of your face. And this is gonna make me look so much younger and so much more innocent like Ariana Grande probably. But when you do this, you want to have reference pictures because if your brows are starting to look too large and in charge and more like slugs than actual eyebrows, you may want to get some correcting cream colors of concealer and wipe away some brow color and then conceal, you know, your underskin. I say underskin because my skin is so pale white and I use that very classic tan foundation. So you want to make sure that your skin tone's not showing through when you wipe away makeup. And the concealer, just make sure it doesn't look heavy and you want to blend it nicely around the eyebrows. We don't want like extreme harsh highlighter marks around these eyebrows. Make them look fake and draw your attention too much to the eyebrow and just look at the whole face. It's so weird at this point to have that mole in these extreme eyebrows. So I'm going to start putting on some eyeshadow using some eyeshadow primer first though. And then I'm getting my Morphe N35 Neutrals palette and using these two brown shades. 
I'm using a darker warm tone brown as a wash all over my eye and then I'm going to get a blending brush with the orange tone brown color that I used as a transition color in the brow bone of my eye. This is also going to be a great way to shape her eyes because I do not mean to sound negative towards her, but she does have very tiny close set eyes. So using neutral colors and neutral makeup is going to help you be able to shape your eyes to look similar to hers. And then we're gonna do some black winged eyeliner. If you're not comfortable with liquid eyeliner, you could definitely use a pencil, but I'm gonna use some liquid liner and do a classic wing. You want to do it not too thin, but not too thick either. If you get it too thick, it's gonna look like her whole eye is just a black line. You wanna do it thick enough so that you could put some false lashes on it later. And across the entire upper lid. Then I'm getting an eyeliner pencil to smudge in my waterline. That skin on your under eye that is so watery and sensitive and feels like you should not put any product on. Sometimes it does feel like you're painting your actual pupil a different color and not that skin because it's so sensitive. You wanna make sure the black color that you're putting in your waterline connects to your winged eyeliner. And then we are returning to the Kat Von D contour palette because it is life and I'm getting a darker contour color, the middle one, and a little bit of that darkest contour color to contour my face to hopefully make it more shaped like Ariana Grande's. I feel like these are goals that I don't know if I could completely accomplish, but I'm going to try. I feel like I am painting an egg with cocoa powder sometimes. Like my face is just too round for this, but we'll see. I'm just fixing my eyebrows a little bit to make it more shaped like hers. And now it is time to prep my lashes. I am curling my lashes, with an eyelash curler of course, to put some falsies on. I got these Ardell Wispies that are from the drugstore. I swear these are the actual ones that they put on Ariana's face because they are so similar to the ones that I see in her red carpet looks. Using the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive, because it is life, and putting it on that eyeliner that we did before. It will blend a lot nicely now that we have that black eyeliner wing on. Now it is time to attack Ariana's lips. I am getting a NYX matte lip color in Whipped Caviar because Ariana has a very classic nude lip usually, unless it's a bold color or a red, and then glossing it over with another NYX product of Fortune Cookie Lip Gloss. It's very classic pink, very girly, and it goes well with the pink sweater that I'm wearing because Ariana wears very pink, girly, neutral colors and fluffy outfits. Then I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit more and use a highlight color. This is Becca Cosmetics Highlighter and Opal. Do that a little bit on my under eye and on my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my forehead to make her forehead look a little bit bigger, especially a little bit more on that cupid's bow. You might want to set your makeup with some finishing spray. This one I'm using is by NYX. Now that your lips are painted on and your face looks made up enough, we are going to put on a wig. I got this huge giant wig from Amazon. It has a darker lace that I am going to cut with some scissors right up to my hairline. You can cut this while it's on your head as long as you have that wig cap on that will protect your actual hair from getting cut. And I'm going to glue it down with some adhesive, some telesis to be specific because this is not going to be on my neck or other sensitive areas, just my forehead. If you want to wipe away some makeup to make the adhesive stay on better from the lace and the wig to your actual skin, that will work out perfectly because sometimes adhesives don't work that well on top of actual makeup. And as you notice, this wig has a half ponytail already because I styled it that way. And I am randomly getting an eyeliner pencil to start painting on baby hairs on her forehead. Yes, I'm trying to get this as natural and extreme as I could. And a little tip, if the ombre on the wig isn't perfect enough to look like the celebrity you're transforming into, I went to the Halloween store and got some very cheap spray paint for hair and painted her roots to make it more evenly ombre -ed. And now that you have the wig perfectly attached to your head, we are completely done with this makeup look of Ariana Grande. It may be a little bit inspired by her because I don't think I could fully transform into her with our totally different face shapes. She has more close set eyes than I do, but I think it does look like her in certain positions, especially if you wince a little bit while she's smiling. She has this cute, adorable smile that just makes me want to pinch her cheeks. This whole entire makeup look makes me look a lot younger. I think it's the eyebrows and this huge amount of hair. Again, this is the most difficult wig for me to manage and it was so heavy, but sadly it is time to transform back into myself. 
Taking off his Ariana wig and all of her makeup, of course, was not hard. You might need some Super Solve or some Isopropyl Mirror Stay to take away any glues from the wig. If you do this makeup look, please send it to me on Instagram at catsketch so that I can see all your guys' makeups and any other ones you've done for my videos. I also have sneak peeks for upcoming makeup videos on all of my social media sites. I think having a cute pink top or whatever girly outfit would be great if you're going to do this. All the products I used in this video will be, of course, listed down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment on what celebrity you would love to see me try to transform into. And I love you all. I will definitely see you soon. Bye.